Tropical storm Ampil is intensifying and really close to become our next typhoon of the season. And as you can see on this satellite imagery, it's quite evident that it's already displaying an eye-like feature or already an eye, the developing a, an eye. So this is the beginning of a rapid intensification phase that already was forecasted and possibly reaching major status in the next 24 to 36 hours from now on. So Ampil is an intensifying tropical storm, already has doubled its size than it was yesterday and positioned at 26.2 degrees north, 140.6 degrees east and expected to cross really close on the eastern coast of Japan nearby Tokyo where it's a really highly populated area. So also the rainfall conditions and flash flooding is expected for uh, those regions in the, eastern in the eastern coast of Japan. So far at 13 hours local time in Tokyo, 4 hours UTC on August the 14th, Ampil has sustained winds of 70 miles per hour with a pressure of 980 millibars. Uh, personally, I believe it's already a typhoon. I don't know you guys, but let us know in the comments if you already think this storm is a typhoon. But officially, it's a tropical storm, 70 miles per hour, sustained tropical storm, 9, 980 millibars, and moving to the northeast at 8 miles per hour, a 55 degrees movement to the northeast. And expected to now move uh, more to the north or shifting more to the north and this is when the rapid intensification phase will begin or it's already uh, started and just uh, waiting for uh, the development of this potential significant typhoon for Tokyo and Japan in the next days and based on the forecast officially by the joint uh, sorry by the Japan Meteorological Agency and the Joint Typhoon Warning Center and they are believing that this is that the system will intensify into a category 3 high end category 3 typhoon so they already leveled up its uh, forecast intensity of Ampil so we are expecting a much stronger system than it was expected yesterday and this is not good news of course so also category 4 status cannot be ruled out and the peak intensity could occur nearby Tokyo nearby the eastern coast of Japan and this is when the storm surge the high sea levels the rainfall accumulations the winds and cyclone condition uh, are are expected in the eastern coast of Japan possibly reaching Tokyo as well and anything could happen still landfall is uh, it's possible since the corner of first it's it's already over the territory of Japan and of course in Tokyo as well so anything could happen still and expected a rapid intensification by the next 24 to 36 hours and then a rapid weakening phase after it uh, after it begins to uh, move away from Japan when, it, when it's going to turn as an extratropical cyclone by the next uh, three to four days after its closest after its closest path to to Japan. So let's see what happens. But in the wind shear uh, graphic, as you can see, the wind shear levels are not that bad for Ampil, quite moderate in the north and on the eastern quadrant, but not really reaching the storm at all but uh, the northern wind shear it's where Ampil could be affected a little bit still battling with some wind shear of that kind and dry air intrusion to, this w to its west as well but this is not going to last longer when Ampil will actually take advantage of, uh, of, of the developing of the conditions in the atmosphere where are going to be good for the cyclone since the humidity are expected to increase a lot and the wind should of course decrease as well at the same time so this is when Ampil is expected to intensify quite rapidly and this is why the Joint Typhoon Warning Center is expecting a really strong typhoon since the, since, uh, since the, sea, uh, the sea surface temperatures excuse me uh, are extremely warm for the cyclone over 29 30 celsius expected to increase those temperatures as ampil 
moves to the north and gets closer to Japan, where the temperatures are reaching almost 32 Celsius. So the storm has uh, has a good path of really good conditions in in the next two days at least. And of course, this is going to be a really a dangerous scenario for Japan and the people near the coast and the, near the eastern coast of Japan where Ampil is expected to to cross or to move parallel to the eastern coast if not making landfall uh, possibly if uh, depending on how fast the storm moves and how the storm also behaves as well in the next in the next hours and the next two days and a half by the GFS model is predicting a peak intensity around 950 millibars a little bit weaker than we saw yesterday in the model also was predicting a direct landfall in the eastern coast but right now it's thinking or well it's saying to us that it's going to to have a really close pass on the eastern coast of Japan but not really making landfall as you can see or can appreciate on the on the latest on the latest frames as it gets its peak intensity nearby the eastern coast of Japan but still landfall is possible so we can't really uh, lose our guard or or take this as something lightly uh, so of course uh, the people should be taking precautions and preparing well for uh, the worsening conditions on the next hours unfortunately and by the multimodal diagnostics practically we are watching uh, an almost uh, typhoon 70 mile per hour tropical storm expected to reach uh, a peak intensity of 110 knots which is 125 miles per hour a high end category 3 typhoon uh, the models are not predicting much higher than that but anything could happen since the conditions as we saw are developing well for Ampil since the wind shear is decreasing still quite moderate but expected to maintain uh, those moderate levels at least in the next 12 to 18 hours and then uh, decreasing substantially when Ampil is expected to intensify quite quickly as well particularly non-existent on the next day sea surface temperatures 29 30 celsius extremely favorable to intensify and the humidity as we mentioned uh, a little bit before uh, are expected to increase as well the dry air intrusion are going to cease so this is going to be good news for Ampil to intensify the humidity is one of the main uh, fuel uh, things that uh, that a cyclone needs to intensify of course so the humidity uh, increasing that's good news for Ampil not really good news for us and for the people in Japan of course so let's see what happens but uh, the humidity around 75 almost 80 percent it's extremely high so this is why or this is the main reasons of why we are expecting a really severe strong typhoon on the next day possibly and this is some of the Florida symmetry that we have on our website so please take a look on that and of course explore a little a little bit more about all of our products that we have in our website tracking storms uh, graphics etc that you can enjoy uh, with the cyclone activity right now and as you can see and if you are watching the same as I or the same as me uh, you can see the eye developing on the latest or the, on the last frames uh, of Ampil's uh, satellite imagery so of course we are watching the developing of a really severe system and possibly a typhoon category 1 typhoon on the next hours officially it's a tropical storm i personally believe that it's already a typhoon let us know in the comments if you believe that already ampil is a typhoon as well but of course still it's going to be a really uh, difficult scenario for japan on the next days or two in the next day or two possibly so please take care, of course, uh, stay updated with our content in our YouTube channel and our social media. We are going to, uh, to have uh, live streams and videos for you as well, tropical weather bulletins about the activity that we are currently having. So please don't miss them out and stay tuned with more here at Forbes 13. That's all for today's updates.
become an ultimate fan today.